Hello everyone and welcome to your free-to-play destination. We're going to be going in for the uh, the last match of this 3v3 season, so we're in match 9. I've had a really good 3v3 season overall. I'm hoping we can continue that trend today. Um, we'll go in, look at uh, look at our matchups, talk about the week so far. So we'll go into my account. Uh, we are 2-0 and so far this season, which is pretty awesome. Um, Round one, I was able to stream, I believe. And this one, doo -doo 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 -doo, I don't remember what all happened. I'll be honest. Um, but we had a pretty good victory in terms of banners. The second one was up against a guy that had a, a really big account. And I thought, really, I had no chance here. 14.2 mil. Um, very, very good player. Just had, for him, probably an unfortunate drop. Or them. Um, they dropped a battle on my... Qui-Gon team and then messaged me and said they usually use Gungans to do it, but uh, Anakin was able to blow them up, which was awesome for me. Um, and then we had a really unfortunate drop. I, I uh, didn't trust... So this person had a lot more relics than I'm used to seeing, so there was this team up here, which is not the best. Um, we had this Inquisitor team, yeah, right here, all relic 9 I went in with my Bounty Hunters because I thought I had Dash on Chew, but I was worried like they wouldn't be able to get through uh, this, uh, Ninth Sister fast enough to, like, kill it. What ended up happening was, because this was the weakest one, it got hit under stealth, uh, they ended up killing my Mando, and I never was able to get my contract off, so I actually had to back out. Made this a lot closer than it should have been, which is unfortunate, but we'll learn, we'll have to trust our teams more. We did end up getting the win, though, so that's great. Uh, and then we'll go into this final one. Our opponent is Almazios. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. RH Unity is their guild. 12.2 uh, million. So what's that, like 1.5 above us? That's not, I mean, like, it's what we're going to see roughly now. Big things we're looking for in ships is they've got all the capital ships seven-starred. And they do. We'll look at their Galactic Republic. Here we're actually looking for a couple ships. One, Marauder, where is it at? Gosh, Relic 8, that's scary. And then Plo Koon is actually another one I've started taking interest in and, and how Relic is he. So not Relics, that should mean my Executor would be able to outrun that ship, which is good for me. And then we'll look at Empire to check Iden Versio. Relic 7, kind of what we expect. Uh, other than that, you know, this person, most people now that we'll see are going to have basically everything, right? Like, we look at even their weakest ships. I guess this is sort of weakest. Yeah, right, it's the pilotless ships. There's a couple Gear 12ers, but then other than that, right, all Relics. Kind of what we expect to see. Datacron-wise, um, maybe a touch more on Datacrons than me, than I've, I have, but not, not some kind of crazy amount more. So, again, this is kind of average to what we're used to seeing. And then in the character department, I mean, they're going to have probably most things. Uh, the Gungans, they're not really on yet. They've done kind of the same approach I did to get... Getting Gungan Stars. They started farming Snap. Uh, they don't have True Root Bays, which is nice. Do anything else we're really looking at here? We need to check some certain characters now. We need to check for uh, Mandalorian. Do they have Bow Mandalore? They do not yet, but just a, some Relic levels away here, it looks like. So they'll probably have Bow Mandalore sooner rather than later. Um, Jedi, what's Kellerin look like for them? He's super relic. He's a monster of a team all by himself. Yeah, he is relic seven. Hey, Bannon, how you doing, brother? Then I like to check scoundrels just to see if they have Afra. They do have Afra, so that's another thing we need to watch out for. And then we'll check speed. So generally, I mean, I feel like the speed goal is always going up now. Uh, 350 to 370 is usually the fastest non-GL. Oops, didn't go to the right person there. So let's see how quick this one is. Fastest non-GL, Mara Jade. I think that's my fastest one as well. I think mine's like 362. 373. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's some good mods. Uh, yes, this is going to be a person. Their mods are going to be on point, so we'll have to be aware when we're fighting through their teams. Um, my guess would be another one you can kind of look at to know, like, are they modding in a way that we kind of expect? You look at Jedi Master Luke. Assuming he's Relic 9, which most people are. This should be like 160k protection or a little more. 136, a little lower than I thought, so that's probably a speed arrow. Yeah, that takes a big bunch of protection out. That's protection. 
protection. That's protection. So this is a little lower protection than maybe I'd want, but he's doing that to get extra speed. Probably to outrun Lord Vader's, if I had to guess. So let's go in and look at the board. Um, I don't think they'd attacked yet. So we're going to try to put up a good score, make him have something to chase today. My defense hasn't changed. I'll go over it just in case anyone wants to see. So in the front, I wanted to put teams that like Maybe they're expensive to clear, give you a choice on what you might use to clear them. So I put Bam with uh, Lando and L3 with Bam's Kron. It's kind of funny. There's actually been a couple matches where I could have used like Bam with the Bounty Hunters to maybe kill Lord Vader. So it's weird to not have him on offense. Uh, Qui-Gon Qui Jinn with Cam and Anakin with uh, Cam Kron. Rex Rex 5s, Gas, and then Dark Trooper Gideon. I maybe should have moved Dark Trooper Gideon to the back. Because what I don't want to do here is have teams that it's really easy for you to understand. Like, oh, this is the team I'm going to use to counter them. Um, so let's just use that team and get it over with. Then I can see the whole board. Up top, a lot, lot weaker, right? We don't have a terrible defense, but it's not great. Darth Vader with Talon and Sith Empire Trooper. Aiden with our extra relic uh, Imperial Remnants. Uh, Boba, Zam, Dingar, Sorty, Grievous, Droidica, and then CLS, 3PO, 3PO, and Chewie. And then in the back, um, I've tried to set at least two GLs every time. So we've got Newt Django B1. Would love for that to maybe be Trench Newt Django, but I just don't have Trench ready yet. Not sure when he's going to come ready. Uh, we've got Jabba. I put him with a non-Doubtcron this time to see if it was different. Um, next 3v3, we won't have doubt. This is the last 3v3 season we have doubt. I did Maul with um, Candorous and Bo-Katan. So these are just characters that have reasonable mods on them, so she's kind of fast. Um, I think she's over 300. I don't know, 266. I took some mods off her, apparently. She used to be really fast for the crate raid, so this is just some relic characters that could at least do something. Uh, Fin Fin Poe. Um, so normally I'd put Zori here, but she's not Relic, so I figured I'd try something else. And then Ray, Ben, Holdo, um, if they've got it there, right? Usually Star Seer, Starkiller, Malakos will kill it, but not for the best of banners. Generally speaking, I try on offense to, to just one shot through, have relatively decent banners, and either have them take a few banners, uh, my banner, my defense take a few banners, or hopefully they drop a battle, but that usually doesn't happen as much. On their side, they've got Qui-Gon, Cam Anakin, Cam Cron, uh, Jabba, Leia, Chrysanthemum, Rex Rex 5s, Keller and Beck, Kit Fisto, and General Kenobi with a Kit Fisto Cron. And then we've got the Tuscans. But we're going to start in the bottom south, where we always do, just to try to uh, see the board before we start attacking the front. I'm hoping to not have to go too crazy on this front wall. Um, but this is a pretty strong front wall. Reva, Grand Inquisitor, Seventh Sister, uh, Dark Trooper Gideon, Scout Moff Gideon, Lord Vader Maul, Royal Guard. If I were um, setting this team, I would probably pick Thrawn instead of Royal Guard because then Finnick has no chance. But also maybe you could go with you're setting this in the hopes that maybe they think, oh, um, Fennec has a chance, and this is just strong enough to get kind of get past Fennec. Uh, we've got Darth Revan, Bastila, Malak, and then Ray, JTR, Ben with a Raycron. That's where I'm going to start. See what kind of stats they've got here. Health steal, health, crit chance on offense, uh, crit avoidance, crit chance, and then the defeat one. Probably it's a little more annoying if you got the one that you have to get everyone below 100% to revot before you can kill them, but um, in 3v3 especially, I don't think it's too big a deal. The Raycron is nice if you're, depending on what your opponent uses, but I've just been going with, uh, Seer, Malakos, and Starkiller, if I can find him. And usually this can, can punch through pretty well. Let's see how much health and offenses Ray has. So generally it's like, ones that get really scary are like 200k-ish health and like 13, 14k offense. 220 health. Oof. It gets 30,000 out of the Kron, though. Oof. Almost 14,000 health cut or damage. Dang, that's that's a that's a scary ray. So this will be one of the worst 
worst ray ones I've dealt with. We are going to take a dark side doubt cron just to try to limit their buffs turn meter gain. Maybe that isn't the right call. I don't know. We'll have to find out in the next season. The question is, would I rather have this? I think I'd rather have the crit damage one. This is what I normally use. Just trying to hopefully get through them fast enough. Vin is also pretty high relic, isn't he? He's Relic 8, so he's going to be scary. Triple Omicron, so he hits under health. Ugh. We'll try to keep Ben controlled here a little more than we normally do. So we have to kill Ben before we can kill Ray. Ray has to be under 50% before we can kill Ben. Luckily, with Malakos here, there is no reviving, so that's not something they get to do. Uh, let's dispel. Target Ray. I like to go after her first. Throw some rocks. Okay, one more special ought to get us through Ray. Uh, okay, she's in damage immunity now, so let's work on Ben a little bit. Start. Ooh, there's a first whirlwind, and it does a lot. Uh, let's put this on Ray. Does it does at least put some debuffs on her. There's Ben's big nasty hit. I don't like it. Uh, we are at 20 stacks of Edge of Madness, so we will get an extra turn. So let's do this. Get Ray, hopefully, into the yellow. Let's target Ben and throw some rocks. Ooh, he went straight down. That's really good. Thing on turn order here. Oof, okay. Might just be able to get Ray down. Okay, excellent. So because we were able to burn through her fast, this won't be too scary. Uh, we're almost assuredly not going to make it to an alt, but we'll see how long this JTR lives. We'll put some protection up. We'd love to get a Starkiller ult in. It's just not very likely now. This JTR would have to live quite a while. There's damage immunity. And I think when, when Starkiller misses, he doesn't build his stacks of his thing, so we're not too likely to get a lot more closer to our ultimate with Starkiller. This will still be okay banners, nothing fantastic. Uh, we'll do this. There we go. So 66. So we only dropped one banner against Ray. I mean, that's pretty good for me. Deal. That was a very, very well modded Ray, too. All right, next battle, I think we're going to do DTMG. So, this I've been doing Sith Empire, and it is scary, but it's worked so far. This one, we definitely need a Doubtcron. So, we're going to do Malgus, Revan, Malik. Again, this will be another team trying to figure out what works after the Doubtcrons go away. So, we've got, I think this is the one we use Deflection Potency Resistance. So we could go with a little bit of crit damage. I think we just need to try to live. If I remember right, this is where we go. Hard to remember all the time. So we'll go in here. The goal is to kind of keep this Dark Trooper Gideon and then the big scary Dark Trooper both under control. Try to keep a lot of fear out there. I know some people like Bastila more. Um, because of Relic levels is the main reason I don't choose Bastila. Because my Revan is R9. Go straight on him. And my Bastila is only R5. Um, especially, like, Dark Trooper's AoE can do just a ton of damage to her. I can't afford to... Oof, oof, oof. Woof. Gosh, that was a hit. We get Malgus healed up. Okay, we can drain right here, and that'll at least take his first life. He revived some... Oh, he took some Dark Trooper stacks. Ooh. Drain again. He's actually out now. Okay, who do we want? Okay, Dark Trooper doesn't have a ton of turn here, so let's start hitting him. Get his him out of here. There we go. Moff Gideon, we can get started on him now. So that was very scary, but I think we're going to maybe make it through. I need Revan to come in with some shocking. Uh, we'll just have to basic. And we should win regardless. It's how many people are we losing in the process. Uh, they're both feared, so we'll keep going after a regular Gideon. Uh, we can recover health and protection now, so let's do that. Okay, now it's a lot less scary. Yeah, if that had been a, what, Relic 9 uh, Dark Trooper getting, we'd been in a world of hurt. I'd love to drop all this doubt, but I think it's going to be pretty tough. We'll try to stun him. Because if Revan can get to another turn, we can try to recover some protection. Okay, we should make it another turn. Well, he has doubt now, but Revan can recover his own protection at least. All right. 
56 again, so that's another fine win. This Revan's, Darth Revan split is pretty interesting. I wonder if, how much that makes the, uh, what am I thinking? The Mal, like, does Malgus appear somewhere else? What kind of things happen there? All right, Reva. I think a lot of people are probably going to assume this is overkill, but honestly, because I go so offense heavy, overkill is not something I worry about. I'm going to do Bane Dooku. Uh, my Bane, I don't feel super comfortable trying to take down Leia's. I know that's a real popular thing for him. Um, Chirrut is another team I like to do with this, but we don't have to worry about Chirrut because he's already out, or they don't have him Relic. So we can stick in Bane with his Kron. Um, should have enough health protection to survive. Even the Death Mark. Um, Grand Inquisitor goes first. A lot of times, Bane on his first turn will kill Grand Inquisitor. Let's see how this one goes. It is a scary battle, but it is one that usually ends up well. Okay, they're going after Dooku, which is even better. So, right, he's already taken a turn. I'm going to do the the um, Dispel, and I think that'll just flat out kill Grand. Because this is a... Oh, it didn't. Wow. It is a defense cron, too. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't kill him. Okay. Just a basic. Yeah, they're going to kill him again. Ouch, ouch. Okay, yeah, so it's not doing a ton of damage, which is good. Let's go ahead and mess some cooldowns up. There we go. Maybe I should have done that first. I think maybe that's what I normally do. I don't know. He's going to go out. Um, I'm going to not... So if I kill with this, um, they can't be revived. I'm going to try to kill her with this, and then go through a couple lives and try to recover his protection banner. It's a pretty minor amount of banner... Um, saving, but it is very important when you're a heavy efficiency player to try to save every banner you can. So we get a 55 instead of a 54, which against Reva, still pretty good. I probably should have went the other way first. So we managed, yeah, we've managed everything so far without using any GLs. I think these two teams, I'm going to GL both of them. We'll start Lord Vader. Um... So looking what's on the back, and I might be really scared of, bo can't be back there. If Leia's back there, I've got Kylo. If Jabba can't be back there. My real, my real question here is, do I use Leia or do I use Luke? Um, I think both of them have a really good shot of killing this. Defense, loss, uh, crit damage, some deflection. Luke... I mean, Leia is a team that, like, I'm always going to use Leia as a full team and not. Is there anything that I would need Leia for? I just can't think of anything that I'm like, Leia is my best answer. So we're going to go Leia here uh, with R2 and Drogon. We'll try to kill them rather efficiently. We'll go light side. I actually will look for some crit damage here. Once they get lower health, you can't crit them. Uh, but our hope is we're going to. Crit them, maybe, and one-shot them with Drogon. Um, specifically, I'd love to just one-shot them all, then try to get old Royal Guard down over time. Let's see how this one goes. And then that Revan team, I looked on SWGOH.GG earlier, and it had pretty good data suggesting that... Uh... All right, let's do this. Hi, Drogon. Mm -hmm. What I'd love to do is get, uh, we can hide again if we want, but I don't think that's really needed. I could try to stun him. I well, might as well see if we can get a stun off. We didn't. So now he's going to get his turn in. He's going to blap R2, then go, ooh, all in on R2. Whoo, that was scarier. I forgot Lay didn't have a taunt up. Um, let's go all in on Maul. I need to get him out. The sooner the better. Uh, let's do the double tap and hope, there we go. Maul's out. So now the big dam the biggest damage dealer on their team is gone. We'll start working our way through this Royal Guard. Oh, Maul can't be stunned when he's got five stacks, can he? Whoops. Try to get Royal Guard out. I'd love to get him out before Lord Vader hits alt, but it's looking like we're not getting there. We'll just try to try to keep everyone alive. Keep after this RG. We'll get him out. All right. Um, let's heal up R2. Leia shouldn't need any healing. Probably even get to a Leia ult today. 
Let's do this. Heal up R2, I guess. Hide him. Oh, he's... Oh, no, that does a spell. Pop. Uh, then we'll go here. We're just trying to get to Leia's ultimate. Once we get to our ult, we can recover some banners if all this doubt goes away. Pop. Nothing else we would recover, at least R2's health banner. Let's just hide everyone else under Leia. Oh, they're all doubted. Bang. Let's just tap him. All right, this should get Leia her ultimate. So let's go ahead and ult Lord Vader. That'll heal everyone up. Basic and Drogon can come in. We'll do the big hit. Nice, nice. 57 banners, exactly what you want out of Lord Vader. All right, so let's see this Kron now. Because normally this would be doubt, but it's not doubt. So that uh, they get extra speed and they recover protection if they inflict debuffs. Bunch of offense. The question is, do I think Lord Vader solo can do this? I know Lord Vader should be able to kill. Let's look at what we've got dark side. We could go doubt. I guess this Kron is an option. With a ton of health and a ton of offense. Or I could go doubt with stats. I don't think I want the reduced defense one. But I could take this one. Or I could take... I don't like that one either. So it's either this Kron. I need to save something for Kylo. That's probably this. Uh, Kylo and the Inquisitors. Crit Avoid isn't very important. I might try this, because this is a ton of health. It should make Lord Vader pretty tough to kill. I don't see anyone else I have really using it. We should be able to ramp up to eventually kill them. So I'm going to try this. Seems like the best option I have. We'll hopefully just not regret it when we're done. So this will save us four GLs going into the back, plus some other pretty strong teams. We've got City of Solo, Treya, Reva. All right, let's start here. Boop. Love to kill her first. I have to be careful of all that shock. Uh, oh, he's that on, so we'll have to just wait a sec. All right, let's see if we can get over. Oh, she's got that again. Or he's taunting again. Uh, still taunting. Boop, 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 boop. Go after her. Boop, okay, there's that, do this. That should take her out on her turn, which is good. The drain doesn't do anything, luckily. Let's save the heal, see if we can get that shock off of us before. Now we'll do the heal. Oh, I'm death marked. Oh, Revan Lee death marked. I was like, how did I get death marked? Revan Lee does that. So yeah, even without doubt, this is a fairly safe battle. We'll just keep trying to heal up. Maybe we can get all the way up to full health again. All right, we're shocked, so we don't want to heal. Now we're not shocked, so we can try to heal. Basic. We're almost to ultimate. There's another basic. In alt, I think we're immune to shock, right? Let's do that. I know we're immune to healing immunity, at least. We'll do this. We'll try to heal up. We may not get full max undersized banners, but we're going to get pretty good banners here, which is nice. Something I can be confident in Lord Vader doing, at least. Uh, we'll try to heal. Got close. Oh, we might be there. All right, there we go. 59. Excellent. So that's a really high front wall. We'll see how scared we are now, because uh, there could be a lot in the back still. But I don't think there's anything too crazy that I should do. Like, Bow Mandalore. Ooh, Seer Junda? Seer Malakos, Finzori, GG, Traditional, Afra, which I actually did prepare for, and then that CLS team. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so there's some, there's some power in the back. We're going up top, though. Let's clear this top first. Try to figure out what our safest teams are here. Get through this, and then we can look down to the bottom. Um, okay, so this is might just be like Jedi Luke with bad Jedi. Like, Jedi 
Jedi Master Luke and Hermit Yoda, and then I'd have, like, Revan, Cal, Knight Luke for something else if I wanted it. This is probably going to be JMK. Uh, unsure on these two guys. This will probably be Treya. Maybe a little scary because of that guy, but let's start here. Let's go JMK. Oh, I also have C for something, which is good. Uh, Galactic Republic. JMK, Cat, and we could do Mace here, which would help wean them down. But he's not as survivable as GK. I think I'm going to stick with GK. Um, I like to use the first cat leap on Chrysanthemum. Just trying to, as quick as I can, get to killing. Uh, okay, so I get either offense or... Let's go crit damage. I like that extra protection up this provides. And we're going to... We shouldn't need Mando for anything. So let's use this one. So we'll kill Chrysanthemum, especially a Relic 9 Chrysanthemum. Hey, Plang, how you doing, man? Thanks for the wish for good luck. Um, just hard to kill, really thick. That's probably Doubt. Luckily, the Doubt, when we just instant kill him, doesn't do anything. Then we can try to kill Leia. She also won't give us any Doubt because she's light side. Then I usually do, like, build up, kill Chrysanthemum, then go after Jabba. Depending on where results at, we could go Jabba first. So let's do this to Cat. Jabba's going to do his thing on... Our Master Kenobi will leap. All right. Actually would prefer Leia do her bomb thing before Cat takes her first turn. Just to prevent some damage, but it is what it is. Who's he putting that on? Uh, Cat, that's my least favorite one. So we need to go really hard killing this girl. We might have to early alt just to save Cat, especially if they keep doing this crap. Oof, oof, oof. that's a lot of dots. Okay, we'll do this. What she got on her seven thermals with defense down. She's probably about to blow up things. Let's go ahead and do an early alt just to keep Cat a little safer. Okay. Now we can start killing Leia really quickly. JMK is also going to assist, which is great. Help kill her super fast. Just leap her, get her out. Thank you. Now we can start working on her, Santhan. So we've got to kill him one more time, then we got to kill Jabba. I'll try to go really fast. Uh, usually I'll save up the... I'll, like, do one shred on him and then save up a few stacks. Protect her. It's fine. Call cat. Alright, pass it over to JMK. Basics. So now we're building back up to our alt. This time we'll wait till full alt. We should have time. Not being too big of a rush here. Just basic. Call JMK himself. JMK. Basic. Cat is taking some damage, but it's not too bad yet. Again, we do have JMK's ult if we need it, but we can also do this. Reset her. Uh, Jabba is about halfway to his ultimate, so we'd like him to be a little farther away, but we're starting to get there. We'll swap here. That might put us into ult. Yes, there's ult, so we can go ultimate. We're halfway through the clock now, so... This is one of those battles where because uh, it's a Relic 9 Chrysanthemum, a Relic 8 Jabba, we can just take a while to actually get through them. Uh, usually, as long as we can get to Jabba with about a minute and a half left, we'll be all right. Chrysanthemum's down to just health now. Might have Cat leap again, see if that kills him. There we go, and now we can start on J-Man. Definitely not the safest battle because the thickness of Chrysanthemum, the thickness of Jabba can make it... Um, a timeout risk, and, like, you can get, depending on your cat's uh, health and stuff, you could just get her nuked out really fast from... Okay, everyone's full health and protection right now. Let's... Actually, let's just basic here and see if a cat leap might just kill him. Pew, there we go. Good. 57 banners. Nice. Nice clean win there. All right. Let's, let's pull up SWGOH.GG. So what I don't want to do is take some kind of crazy risk, end up losing because 
we, we risked a battle we didn't really need to. Um, GAC, GAC counters. Let's go ahead and pull up the rest of the battles on the front here. So we've got Rex, not that Rex, CT. Oops, hit the wrong button. Okay. There's Rex. Rex Rex 5, search. Old Keller and Beck. He's really turning into quite a monster right now. We've got Keller and Beck. We've got Tuscans. What was the last thing up here? Oh, Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon Jin. So let's pull up these four counters first. So Rex, I mean, C's got really good banners. Reva's got pretty good banners or pretty good win chance. Uh, so maybe C uh, here. Uh, yeah, it looks like Master Luke for Qui-Gon. That one I kind of figured. Let's check KB and Tuscan Chieftain. They're probably the, the two lesser known quantities of what I have to get through here. Maybe C on Beck to be safe. That's definitely an option. Um, okay, so Beck, it looks like we could. C has well, let's the Beck is weird because of Kit Fisto, too. So let's let's not discount that idea. Who's with him? GK. Man. That's a weird lineup that there's probably not quite as much data for. So let's add a unit. Oops, hit the wrong button. Um, in case people don't know, I guess I don't have it showing, but I'm looking on swgoh.gg. It's got really good data because it just basically is logging any teams it sees on defense. And Ooh, Reva's got a 100% win rate against a Fisto with Mace. And it says Wampa does against... Okay, here's the GK variant. So Reva's got a good win rate. Jedi Knight Luke's got a good win rate. C's got a good win rate. Uh, Bad Batch has a terrible win rate, which I think most people... Ooh. Mm. Sidious is a nice one to think about. Uh, I do not have Newt Django B1. I put them on defense. Um, Qui-Gon is probably looking at a Master Luke Hermit Yoda type deal. Then Chieftain, what's it got? I mean, Kylo, yep, that's a good, good win rate. <laughs> I mean, is there a reason to not use Kylo? Because Treya can go against other stuff, and I just don't like. I don't need Treya to work here. Treya can definitely work against some stuff that's not quite as strong in the bottom, right? Let's check the bottom and see, is there anything down there that I don't know for sure I'm going to handle it? A Seer is probably the biggest scary team, but we've got C left this. Wampa might even take this. I don't know how this Kron affects it. Let's see. Potency up. Immune to days. Extortion doesn't matter. Non-droid. So this, yeah, I, I bet it's a lot of health, but Wampa might still work there. Okay, so if we do Kylo, Keller and Beck could be, what was I looking at? Sidious would be great if it worked. This is going to be Luke. Rex, the Inquisitor, should be able to take down, it looks like. I mean, with a near 100% win rate. Bad Batch can do that, Seer Team, you think? I would love that to be true. Uh, Gidma I don't have because I put Moff Gideon on defense. Okay, does Sidious work on anything back here? I mean, maybe this, but it's scary. Aphra, maybe, but I'd be worried they just do too much damage to him. Okay, let's start with... So, Qui-Gon's probably the one I'm the most certain of. We're going to do Master Luke Hermit Yoda. I have a really big protection cron, so we basically are going to wipe them off the floor very quickly. We'll go right after Anakin. Yeah, Bad Batch is great. I know my Bad Batch just like, I don't have the... Probably the mods on them they really deserve. Okay, so this is going to be... Oh, I can need to look there. Just protection. We've got this one that's got just a ton of it. Can't be revived, which doesn't really play in this match. You think Savage solo that CLS? I like your idea, but I'm definitely worried about it. Uh, so here, uh, because we're taking a GL, it'll turn off 
Um, Qui-Gon's Omicron, so we can just kill Anakin really, really fast. So we'll go Anakin first. I like to do it this way. Should be enough to get Hermit Yoda ahead. And then do this, and now he's dead. <laughs> now they can only really hit Luke. Uh, we'll go after Cam, because he's the scarier of these two. Do a little this. Do a little that. There we go. Do a little that. Okay. Heal up here. I don't think I actually had to, but we're, again, trying to maximize that banner potential. Pew! 58 there. So you think Savat... Do you have to have a Doubt Prawn or anything with that? All right, so that gets that team out of the way. So what do I still have to play with? C, I'd love to take into the back. Kylo would be up here on this team. Full auto target CLS. Okay. We'll look at it. Um, Dash on Chewie, I'm kind of relying on. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let's, let's take... I've got Adrad. Mm -hmm. So this, like, I have to remember, okay, Keller and Beck, is there a reason? So normally Sidious, you would say, wouldn't kill this because they've got, like, Cam and Anakin and they just do so much damage. This one, do they have the double damage when they do, which... Makes this much scarier, so I don't think that's going to make sense to try Sidious Solo there. Uh, what else works really well against this team? Re See, it says Reva works great, but then I'd have to take something else against Rex, right? What else would work against Rex? Not a ton of things look good. Sidious doesn't take the Rex team well, right? Because it ends up being, yeah, really tough to kill them. Bad Batch is pretty low. Trey is pretty low. Malgus. Bane works great. What a surprise. <laughs> I think Bane basically works against everything right now, it seems. Okay, so this... Rex team. I don't have a ton of good options. Reva has a high win rate, so Reva's an option, but then what goes against Keller and Beck? I mean, it says Jedi Revan, Hermit Yoda, Jedi Knight Luke works, and I would imagine if you put Jedi Cal in there, it gets even better. I don't have Qui-Gon, because I put him on defense. Ooh, Adrad shows really good win rates, but boy, you'd be scared. Oof, I guess as long as they go after Jin, you're fine. And then Chieftain at that point, like I'm trying to save Kylo for this right. Kylo full first order is almost a guaranteed win. What's Treya show here? 92% win rate, because if they nuke out your Nihilus, it goes really bad. Bad really fast. So one of these I probably have to do a dangerous kind of little play on. I gotta read Rex again. What's his... And he doesn't have his Omicron, which turns off some of his 3v3s. So I get speed to do... They recover protection. Okay, that's nothing... That's really not anything crazy. Is it his Omicron that gives him the, like, damage immunity when they get healing immunity, I believe? Something like that. This is going to be probably thick protection up. Yep, yeah, crit damage. Okay, so it's a lot of damage. You're probably trying to if we look at the Inquisitors. Bang, bang, bang. Does gas beat Krex? Um, I would say it probably could if you're using Rex 5s. I don't have gas available. He is also on defense. So this, oops, that's not what I'm after, dark side. 
So it'd be Reva with like this Kron to give them extra Kapow to get through them. Probably go in on. I don't know which one's more crazy. Maybe go all in on fives and try to kill him fast. Let's do this one, see how it goes. I think this is much less risky of a battle than, like, Treya is. Okay. We can pick who we want. We're definitely going after Captain Rex. Remove that turn meter. Almost kill him, which is good. Fives will get started. Oh, you're going to death mark yourself. Now, we do want to be a little careful, because I'd rather not rip him out the gate too hard, unless we can get a healing immunity on him. Because then, when it's five sacrifices, he doesn't really come back. Yep, there we go. Then you do that. Let's heal up. Grand Inquisitor. Uh, then we'll do this. There we go. Nice and easy. 57. Good, clean banners from Reva. All right, KB. He's the next one. Do we dare risk Jedi here? So, a bunch of extra damage, but, like, there's not a ton of damage on the team outside of the fact of Keller and Beck's extra. So, like, you'd think something like this would really melt this team, right? Because you can mark, kill Kit Fisto first, keep him stunned with Jedi Luke. Jedi Cal eventually has an Annihilate. We've got turn passing. It shows that in GG that Revan, like, regular... Uh, no, Revan, Hermit Yoda, and Jedi Knight Luke did it. And I would think Jedi Cal is just a lot better than Hermit Yoda. Now the question is for light side crons, do we go a Jedi Cron where we can get no revive, protection up, protection accuracy, not really excited about any of those stats. Or do we go one of these extra protection up type dealios? I think it's probably this one. Would we rather have 10% crit damage? They're both 10% crit damage. There's some deflection. There's a little more on this one with potency. Uh, I guess we'll go here. We'll take this. So we can't kill Keller and Vec first, if I remember right. His, like, leader prevents that. That's Territory Wars. Yeah, so healing immunity, get prod up. Uh, flick the target lock. Yeah, they get stuff. Keller and Vec is in the leader. Oh, no, it's just when we kill him, he gets an extra life. But we could kill him first. But I think we go Kit Fisto first, get rid of the Kron. Then we can go after Kenobi. Then we'll get back out. I would think this works, but maybe I'll be very surprised and sad. Okay, so we are going to swap to Luke. Oh, they're immune to stun, aren't they? Heh. <laughs> well, I guess he's not immune to stun, at least. We'll do this. I'll swap to... Uh, want to swap to Revan or Knight? Let's swap to Knight Luke. Okay, they should start equalizing. We'll do this. Okay, yep, yeah, ouch. All right. Uh, let's put this on Kit, I suppose. Just to get him beat up, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do the shred here. Just a basic. Let's call Luke in. He just does more damage generally. All right, this is going to hurt. Eh, not so bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, I can't ever remember how Beck's thing is. I know he has the... Wow. You guys shouldn't have attacked Luke, apparently. Gosh, darn. Let's do this. Let's swap it to Luke. Now, he will revive, and I didn't bring a no revive, Kron. I guess I should have thought about that. Ouch. Ouch. Let's call you. He is very, very thick. Ooh, we can do this, though. Hit him with a basic, and then smite him. There we go. Yeah, 57. Nice, clean banners. Good, good, good. That saves a GL against a team that probably normally I have to use a GL. If this is, like, a... a Team comp that's really nasty is Keller and Kit Fisto and Jedi Knight Anakin. Because Kit Fisto's Kron keeps equalizing their health and protection. So, like, you'll get one of them almost dead. 
Kit Fisto equalizes it because that person got almost dead. Anakin takes a turn, does a bit damage, then, okay, the next one goes off. Right, unless you can kill them all out in one big swoop, it keeps doing crap like that. See, it's got Adrad with a really good win rate. It's got Trey with a good win rate. But I just feel like, especially given its high relic levels, Kylo is just safer here. Um, I just don't feel good about the other potential teams in terms of how great they're going to do. All right, we're going to go do, 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 dark side. We can do a really low level doubt here. It just isn't that important. Crit avoid resistance. Uh, we'll take the potency, I suppose. Um, okay, let's before we do this, let's let's pull up the back and see. Like, is there a reason I would want to save, or the the bottom back, and is there a reason I'd want to save Kylo? So I don't. What I don't want to do is be like, oh crap, I need Kylo for something, and he's not there. So let's search, do some GAC insights. We've got a Seer Junda team. We've got a Finn team. We've got a General Grievous team. We've got a Afra team. And we've got a Commander Luke team. Commander Luke. Okay, so Commander Luke, 3PO, and Chewie. Uh, so yeah, Treya should work there if we need her to. Afra is almost assuredly going to be which shows Sidious with a really good win rate. So there's something we can consider. Dash Han Chewy is actually worse win rate. Grievous, who is it with him? B1 and B2. I wouldn't want it to be the, the staff. That's a much scarier guy. Okay. Wampa's got a win rate, but not a great one. We'll have to figure out kind of what works here. Finn. Finn Zori, right? Finn, Finn, Zori. And we've got Seer, Malakos, and Cal Kestis. Let's say Treya has it? Uh, it's not a great win, right? So, so yeah, it looks like C is my best hope against this guy, just to make sure we don't get nuked out. Yeah, it looks like C, like C Watt should do just fine. Commander Luke. Okay, Treya's, or I'm sorry, uh, Zori's probably the next scary thing to deal with. Sidious has a chance. Treya's got a little chance. This actually might be the nasty team left. So Zori, she doesn't have her Omicron, which definitely helps. It just means they don't get as much turn meter. So Zori's probably the thing I have to figure out how to beat. Kyle's always a GL if I save. Oh yeah, he, he like he just does so much against basically everyone, right? Like Afra. Again, that might be Sidious. I don't know if this guy's enough damage to just nuke the snot out of my Sidious, but I'm gonna have to try him somewhere. Grievous, you know, Wampa's got a chance or something. Ad, ooh, Adrad seems like it's got a really good win rate against that Grievous team, so maybe we go Adrad. This guy here is... Okay, so we're saying... Does Dash on Chewy? It kind of works. You just got to really blow him up fast. Uh, What's their Kron, too? Because if it's the 100% below thing... Yeah, you've got to get everyone low health before you kill them. Ton of extra health and protection. So that makes that a lot more complicated. So I'm wondering, like, do I take Kylo into this and let Kylo do it? I feel pretty good about his chances, but then Tuscans would have to be something else. I mean, Adrath. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the wrong Tuscans. Tuscan. And then Raider. Make sure to get the right ones. Okay, let's start at least picking off some things we feel confident in. Uh, okay, so Seer Junda, I don't think I have a good option that's not Sith Eternal. Uh, I do not have Talzin and Zombie strong enough to do against Zori. I feel 
very strong in that opinion. All right, Separatists. Oh, no, yeah, Separatists. I'm just going to take Wat Tambor. I shouldn't need any kind of crazy brawn. We'll go dark side. We'll at least put a little doubt on him. But again, one of these low-level ones. We'll do a little crit avoid and potency. Hopefully Wat Tambor lives, but it's not very likely. We're The real thing here, we just got to make sure we get M Malakos linked up. Uh, crit avoidance and nasty potency. Nothing too bad here. Because Malakos is the damage. Then we might go back up top. We're going to figure out the things we know we're doing first. So tank tech here. Uh, we definitely want to get Malakos. He's the scary one. Would I rather link her or him up? Um, I feel pretty confident I can kill her. He's the one, she's the one that also deals damage. We're going to link up this guy. And then I'll just start trying to burn her down. I feel pretty good that Seal will eventually get through her. It's basic. We don't need to heal up Watt yet. Oop. Uh, now we need to heal up Watt. So when C's turn comes around, we'll try to do a little Watt healing. Ouch. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, Watt Tambor. We'll try to heal you a little, buddy. Get a little bit. Yeah, very quickly, Malakos builds our alt. Very quickly, we'll get to a point where we should be able to transform. Um, I, uh, the real only risk here would be is if I couldn't kill Seer Junda fast enough. Oh, she hits him, which is really nice. Let's Watt survive a little longer. And do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. I will go ahead and transform now. This will shock these two guys out of the world, and then we can work to get her down. We'll just throw it on auto. Yeah, see, she should be fine killing her. Land a shock. She won't build up her protection anymore. Well, Tambor is going to live, which is nice. Normally, he gets murdered. That's a good survive for him. Oh, well. Oh. Sorry, Watt. I spoke too soon. I'm sorry, buddy. But we'll win. He'll be fine. He'll have his health protection full, so we'll only lose the, the Watt train there. All right, so that one, pretty easy what we were going for there. So now we got to look at the next thing we want to try to do. Teams were not... Okay, so Afra, it's, it says Sidious has got a good shot here. Let's check their data cron. I'd love for this to work. Doubt, some crit damage. <sighs> this is very scary, but if this works, it would make my life a lot easier. Sidious... Uh, City is Kron, right? So we get um, maybe recover some health and protection. We can get tenacity up, which is good. Then we get all these big stats. We've got okay protection, some added offense, some added health steal. Let's see if my Relic 7 Sidious can get through this Afro. We're probably going to turn this on to airplane mode because it's probably going to get real scary. Hang on. He goes, yep, ouch, okay. AoE. It's a lot of dots. Now we just need her to not. The tenacity up actually probably helps a ton in terms of not letting them get um, the cooldown increase. Ooh, okay. Now we're starting to get our protection. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, she should just die. There we go. Sweet. Okay, we turn off airplane mode. Ooh, okay, 58. So that was a good, clean win. Thank you, Sidious. And that's really high relics for Afra. So more than likely, um, normal, normal Afra teams are not gonna have that kind of damage. All right, Grievous. What were we looking at? Oh, did we think maybe Sidious here too? No, not really. Uh, he doesn't have a great win rate, man. All right, let's 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 evaluate what teams we have left. We have Dash Han Chewy, Rat, Radis. Maybe that's what I was thinking here. Rata, yeah, Radis has a pretty decent win rate against this kind of comp. Yeah, right, like he's so strong, but man, it's one of those things that can turn so fast. Um, I'm like, I'm a real offense heavy player, and, I, and I'm not even the biggest fan right now of all these, like, like Sidious. His Datacron, sure, it's fine, because it'll go away. I think Bane's too strong. I think he should get a little weaker. The idea that he can kill basically anything right now um, for for him and another 
Relic 8 character. Like, mine is Relic 7. I put Relic 8 Dooku with him, which is a requirement for Lord Vader, I think. And in Squad Arena, I can usually kill Leia teams. It, it's He's so strong, it is ridiculous. In my opinion. I would rather see... Okay, so this... I would rather see him not... Like, I'm fine with him soloing all the non-GL stuff, basically. It just feels like maybe that's too strong. Okay, so, uh, oh, not this team. No, 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 no. Most peeps have who mod wrong, I think. Sidious? They don't go for enough survivability and stuff? Okay. Like, this Grievous counter, it says, is like 86% win rate, which isn't the greatest. Oh, no, 93% win rate with Adrad. So you'd be basically just relying on don't let Adrad die. Eventually you'll get Grievous down. If there was staff here, I'd be very scared of this, but I think with this... Plus, like, a light side cron. Oops. A light side. We could even maybe go with some... Do we have tenacity? Ooh, we do. Tenacity just to try to help re resist target locks. And I feel like this should probably work. Oh, hey, Kilroy. Troy, afternoon, man. Yeah, so here we've got a little crit damage, but really we're on this, we're on this one for uh, the tenacity to try to resist debuffs. We'll try to get B two out first we might do a few pops here um i just don't want b2 taking a ton of turns and i think the grievous just won't have enough damage to kill me too quickly he does have 28 extra percent health which is um i do have wampa but with the grievous having an extra 28 percent health i would worry that they're able to kill my wampa because my wampa is not super high relic um i don't think i have a better use for adrad in all honesty when i look at the teams i have left i've got Grievous, Finn, CLS, and Tuscans left. So I just don't think there's a better use here. And I don't know that I trust Wampa enough. I could see, if especially if this was the target lock level 6, I really wouldn't trust Wampa. Um, but we're not going to be able to daze them. We're going to have a harder time applying dots because they have tenacity up. So I don't know that I trust womps here maybe i shouldn't trust adrad this looks like something that i can understand how it works um, a lot of time you know people might look up on swgog or grand arena science uh, we'll go in out this real hard yeah try to get the stacks off really fast um and what maybe isn't understood as well is oh i'm picking this counter because i think it's a good counter and i believe it'll work which is very real. Um, I don't want to pretend like that's not something that can happen. But if you don't know how to play it, then you risk like, oh yeah, I did this counter. It was a really great counter, but <laughs> I did it, and now I don't understand why it's working. Um, yeah, it's you're not wrong. It is expensive, but I would rather take the expensive part with like what I'm relatively sure is going to be a win rather than risk a loss. Okay, ooh, healing immunity is really nice action on him. Let's do this. Get our buffs up. Grievous gets mad. Yes, he does. Should even get to Adrad's ult, hopefully, to finish off Grievous. That way we can end with max banners. Yeah, as long as they go after Jin, there's really no risk of us dying here. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and make Grievous mad, and then we'll drop the ult on him. Boop. Do this. Phew. Oh, and he's still got another turn. Gosh darn it. Alright, heal him up. Pass it to Adrad. Dispel the debuffs. Hit him. Hit him. Get to Cassian. He's hurt. Just joined. Uh, I don't know if it'll be a tight efficiency battle. I would say most of my uh, GACs end up being tight efficiency battles, so probably this will be a tight efficiency battle. Um, Hey, AMZR. Uh, my opponent hasn't attacked yet. We're we're working through it. We're getting pretty decent through it. Okay, so now we've got to figure out what are we using on Finn Zori. So it gives me that Trey is like an eighty-two percent win rate. Dash on Chewie's a lower win rate, so it makes me want to do it not quite so much. What other thing? Because I'm really trying to save SLKR to go against the Tuscans. Um, I'm worried that 
Treya cannot live through that Relic 7 Tuscan Warrior. Mm -hmm. Treya has a fair win rate against this, but not the best. Kylo has a great win rate. <laughs> let's let's evaluate what we have left. So we've got Kylo Treya, Troopers, Dash on Chewy. That's an extra thick Zori, and they have to get the under 100% thing. So maybe Kylo does make the most sense on this. Ky Kylo the Zori, and then Tuscans or Treya f attempt. I mean, Tre Treya has a better win rate against Tuscans than she does against Finn. It's a worse Finn Cron, so maybe we... <sighs> Man, I don't like this battle a ton. Yeah, I don't have Talzin or Zombie probably strong enough to do that. My Zombie's like gear 10, my Talzin's gear 12. Savage Solo Cios, I do not trust <laughs> Treyas enough, especially against Tuscans without Savage. That is, because I don't have Scion, um, I don't have Sith Empire Trooper because he's on defense, so it would just be very scary to do this without Savage. Uh, the game is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Big crit damage. We need Doubt for sure. Let's see. Dark side. We want Doubt. Can we get... What crit avoidance do we have? This is not a Doubt Cron, so we've got that one. Yeah, Isolate the Summoned Tuscans. A very important idea. This has a little crit avoid and crit damage. Um, Kylo shouldn't need anything. Uh, I don't have Talon. And I don't know... And... The problem with Talon is, okay, you take Talon, who are you taking off the team? Savage? Then you don't have a tank, you don't have protection recovery. Nihilus, you don't have the guaranteed kills. This is the guy that's scary, this Tuscan Warrior. And I think they've got good crit damage. Yeah, 19%. So this is what we're going to do, and hope this works out. Um, with Treya, you, you need to isolate. So there's two Tuscans, Tuscan Raiders, that'll both have taunt. You need to isolate the one here. That, that says summon, because um, either one of them, when you kill, they, they will revive. And the big deal with that being this one, I can isolate him. Um, when I instant kill him, even if, um, even if I insta-kill him, he will revive because he's a summon. This one, on the other hand, if you insta-kill him with something with, that it cannot be revived, he doesn't get to come back. Okay, we'll go here. This guy is the scary one. Is he going to one-shot somebody? Probably knowing my luck, but it's okay. If we can get... Oof, oof. Yep, yeah, and now he's got doubt on him, which really sucks, because that is a lot. Okay, we can try to increase his cooldowns. Maybe that'll be enough to... Okay, he had to basic there instead of... Okay, just go here. Alright. Do this. We have to. Ouch, ouch. Come on, Nihilus. I need you, buddy. One more turn still. Okay, who okay, hit Savage. Didn't kill him, thankfully. Uh, there's no taunt up here right now, so if we can, we'd we definitely try to hit you, but you're hiding. Okay, ouch, ouch. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter whether you kill or basic. Okay, now we're gonna kill. We have to kill him. I could try to mess his cooldowns up, but I want to make sure. Worst case scenario, we know Raiders out. Who are you killing? Oh, well, you didn't kill anyone. Thanks, buddy. Well, let's hit you. We can get him dead. Ouch! Ouch! Oof. Okay. Now that his stacks of momentum are gone, he doesn't. Uh, now you might be tempted to take isolate off. Don't keep isolate on him because he'll taunt if he's not isolated, and we have to kill this chieftain. Lots of dots, but luckily to Trey, that's no problem. We'll just get started killing Chieftain. Should end this with pretty good banners. Uh, don't isolate. Don't isolate. Don't fall into the trap, because then this guy will taunt, and you have to kill him somehow. Uh, he, so the Tuscans re are supposed to revive as long as there's another Tuscan. It might be Tuscan Raider on the field. Um, so once he's dead, the other last Tuscan is dead, then we can just kill him, and he'll never revive. 
Um, you might get to a point to where, I, I don't know if he just goes away. Let's see. Yeah, he just goes away. So you win. Excellent. Thank gosh. That takes that team out. Okay. All right. So then we just basically have to figure out something for CLS, and I would imagine we have something that can work. Dash on Chewy's got an okay win rate. So worst case scenario, we go there. Um, let's look here. Executor, I do I do get to try out my new executor counter. But do I need to? Yes, because I want a profundity here, negotiator here. Oh, I can't negotiator here if I negotiator here. So I have to negotiator one of these and chimera one of these. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's get the bottom done first. So now that I've saved it, uh Kylo can take down Finn. Um, and this really Maybe, I mean, it's it's almost assuredly overkill. <laughs> um, but with Kylo being here, we can do, one, overwhelming amounts of damage. Two, Hux is going to start with advantage, which prevents them from gaining turn meter and um, messing with turn meter, which is really good. Uh, yeah, I have Marauder, and I got my Plo Koon to R7. So the question is, do I need Doubt? I don't think so. So we're just going to take this. Eh. Doubt's better than, because this doesn't have crit damage. I guess we'll take Doubt, just so, just in case they start rolling on us. But we should go first with Kylo. We'll stun. We're going to hit this fin. Then I think my Hux might be fast enough to pass a turn to Kylo again. We'll stun Zori. Should be very, very kind of clean win here. And I can't imagine Kylo struggles through Zori. So we want to stun him first. He just gets a lot of things going on their team. Oh, we can pass the turn. We're going to pass it to Kylo. We're going to stun Zori now, another person that can get them running. Oh, we can even try to stun Finn. Uh, we'll steal from Finn, this Finn, actually. We have to get them all under 100%. Um, so this, this buff here is that. You can see this one doesn't have it anymore. Um, when I do this move, it's going to steal some stats. I'm stealing from this guy just because he should be tanky and hard enough to kill that it'll be more difficult to get him under 100% than it will her. So swipe, swipe. Didn't quite get him under. We'll call everyone assist on him. Now that he's under, we'll hit Zori. Didn't quite get her. Dang. Um, What's the turn order looking like here? Okay, Kylo does get to go again. So do a basic. Just do a basic. Uh, do I... I don't want her getting out. So let's poke and stun her. He'll get one turn out. Do a lot of damage to my Hux, but then we should be able to kill him. No problem. 55, we lost two banners from Hux, but not too shabby. Now we've got this team to deal with. So our options for Commander Luke. We have Dash on Chewie as an option. Um, I also have like EP Mara Jade... Dash on Chewie's got a really good win rate against this, so that's probably where we're going. Let's just trust them. Scoundrels. I'm thinking you go just straight in on Commander Luke at the start and just try to nuke him down. All right, we'll go white side. I'd love to have some crit damage. So I could have 7% crit damage isn't a lot. What kind of offense could I give him? I could get, ooh, 27% offense is a lot of offense with some health. Do I want the protection up or do I want offense? I feel like offense is the better call. So we go in, we're just trying to nuke down Luke as quick as we can, would be my guess. They have a lot of tenacity, but Han's stun on basic can't be evaded if I remember right. <laughs> this one. Counter bonus from basic, ignore taunt. Yeah, can't resist the initial stun. So we can go right into CLS. Try to nuke him out just as quick as we can. What's his health and protection looking like? He's offense tenacity modded. So not a ton of health and protection. So hopefully we can nuke him down fast. I would think you'd do CLS instead of Chupio. Let's, unless he's really, really weak. He's probably built. Uh, yeah, he's thicker than CLS. So we'll go after CLS at the start. Mm, okay. Let's see how this goes. Now, they're going to have really high tenacity, so the odds of me getting a stun that's not this first one off Han are pretty low. But Han's cannot miss, which is good. 
Uh, Dash, we'll call him to assist, and then both of these guys will assist too. Perfect, we'll do that. You're out. Now we'll get on you. He's going to get some damage in almost assuredly. Ooh, we got a stun. Oh, because of tenacity down. Um, Call the assists. Okay. Call that assist to try to heal. We'll dispel their buffs. Ouch. We're not going to get very good banners, but that's fine. Chupio is hitting hard. Ooh. Try to stun him? Pew. Nope. Dodged him. Oh, he was probably blinded. Um, we'll try to... St oh, he's blinded as well. I uh, didn't stun. Ow. Basic, basic, basic. Come on. Come on, guys. Basic. And that's it. There we go. Okay. Nasty, nasty banners. It's a rough team. But we did clear through it, so that's good. Ooh, my opponent's starting to attack. Cool. He got 67 on his first attempt. We'll see who he took out for a max banner win. Was that gas? Was that gas fell? Yeah, gas fell. So this will be cool. We can kind of see kind of live what they're doing. Yeah, so for this, right, the only thing I have to figure out is I have Negotiator with Marauder that should be able to counter either one of these. Um, this, I'm going to go ahead and do my normal Profundity. Okay, what does he have on offense now? So we know he has Profundity, Leviathan, Chimera. Those are his big fleets on offense. So I need to be careful here with banners, but I also have to be careful not to, like, you know, lose. Let's go here. Do I need any more than this, or is this enough? I'm going to bring in bigs just in case, but, man, this feels bad if I have to call all that. We're just trying to be really banner banner hungry here, so um, goal is going to be go really hard on Anakin before the Negotiator takes its first turn. Ooh, actually, this might be sped up enough that it becomes a problem, but we'll see. Um, we want to get Anakin, ideally, to pop the Unending Loyalty so he's in stealth when Profundity takes its first turn, because then we can mark him and kill him really fast. But we definitely want to make sure Negotiator on its first turn is using its Mass Assist, not its... Oh, we want to make sure it's not using the mass assist, but instead, ooh, mm, beautiful. Okay, so this, I'm just going to go ahead and do the, what's the order of op here? Uh, we're going to go next. Okay, so we're going to do this. Could have gotten really lucky and killed Anakin there, but wasn't likely. So now we're going to do this, and we're going to mark Anakin. So now when Anakin, when he comes, he's going to put unending loyalty for sure. We knew that. But now we can just hard focus Anakin. He's going to do that, be nasty. Okay, and then we're going to start to play again. So let's go after Anakin. We have to kill him, his bonus life, but then oh, here we'll go ahead and just kill him. Excellent. Anakin is a huge amount of the damage on this team. Do I want to call in a reinforcement yet, or I just keep going? Let's just keep going. I think I can do this without a reinforcement, maybe. Just so I don't risk losing the banner. Okay, Marauder. Ouch, ouch. We have the reinforcement if we need it. Okay. Um, I don't have to go after you right now, so let's see if I can hit fives a little bit and do some damage. Um, let's do this. Wow, dodged. Come on, man. There we go. There's some damage on fives. Um, let's go ahead and call in a reinforcement. I just don't think it makes sense to not. Question is who? This dispels their buffs, right? Inflict offense and defense down. Let's do this. See if we can kill fives right here with an assist. Yeah, all right. There's their mass assist. It's going to hurt, but it doesn't do too bad. Now, the reason we're okay bringing in a reinforcement, um, we should... Mm, I don't know, Ahsoka. What are you doing? Stop it. Um, we should be able to get to our ultimate. If we get to our ultimate, it'll heal everyone up and take, again, a lot of the scary out of this. Uh, let's go ahead and put an extra turn to... Do I want Outrider? do Outrider, because then maybe I can start getting some calls to assist again. This Falcon at least go. Okay. Um, now we've got some people that can assist, which is great. I'd prefer to kill Ahsoka. We'll get an assist there. This should at least knock her buffs off. Okay. Y-Wing. Okay. Knock her buffs off. The cool thing about uh, this team, even though... Okay, we are at alts. That's good. Let's kill her. Um, so even though Marauder's going to get some bonus turns because we're sending away his capital ship and we'll, we'll almost kill him. So see, he gets this extra turn, but we're all in damage immunity. You're not going to do any damage there. 
So now we're going to start on Marauder. Um, he'll get an extra life, or he should get an extra life when he goes down to zero life. But what will happen is, is Profundity is going to prevent the heal on that. And if we get really lucky, we'll get enough assists to just kill him straight through. That's not very good. Come on, I want a Jew. We'll keep trying to heal up, heal up, heal up. Oof. Okay. Why don't I... Oh, no, he's stealth. Okay. Outrider on your turn will heal up. Do some assisty like that. And then, yeah, there's the bonus that just straight up kills him. So that's 74 banners. That's very nice. Pretty decent score so far. My opponent also put up a good score. So they did 67. So they did 57 on the second one. So the question now, let's go look at some ship counters. I don't know how good the banners are on Marauder versus Executor, but I know the banners for, um, I'm sorry, Negotiator, but I know Negotiator versus Chimera is really good banners, or Malevolent. Gosh darn, I can't say anything. So what we could do, we've got a couple options here. We're either going to do the Malevolent or the Chimera here on Executor, which looks to be about 67 banners. Um, or we're going to do Negotiator. Negotiator 71 banners. So 71 plus 67. So that's 138. Malevolent. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this wrong. So, yeah, Negotiator against Malevolence can just be 70. Like, it's so many banners. And the Chimera probably is not great banners against it. Yeah, 69 and 74 versus 68 and 71. So we're going, six, we're going Chimera against Executor. Oof. Not my most favorite battle, but we can do this. We've done it before. So we're going Chimera here. Uh, let's just go ahead and select our fleet. We've got this beautiful Empire fleet, supposedly. We'll see, I guess. Uh, they fixed it, so... Negotiator had a, a, a buff, or Executor had a buff to itself to where it could target around the resilient defense from Aiden, which is like a quasi taunt. Um, supposedly that got fixed. If it did or not, we'll see. But we'll go in here. We should get to move first. Tie Fighter is going to put up its foresight. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, we're just trying to get a bunch of turns in. We want to kill IG first. So put up our foresight. Oh, man, Vader. If you crit here, I would just be so happy. Thank you, Vader. That's going to make this a lot simpler just because we're going to have so much more uh, firepower coming out. So now I can actually stun you. I'd love to stun you, but you're hidden. So let's stun this guy. That is an irresistible stun. Normally, IG is still alive at this point. Um, if IG is alive, you need to stun IG. Do I want to buff up? Yeah, let's buff up here, get some buffs on him. We're going to strip their buffs, get us more formation, and we're going to see if we can just one-shot Cad Bane. Brrr, not quite, but Vader might help us and finish it. All right, so you should have to target him, and you do. You can't miss, which sucks. You can go around always, so you're you're cheating, in my opinion, but whatever. We'll bring in the Interceptor. So Razor Crest, as long as it has this, this extra life buff, it can always go around taunt. So it doesn't matter what I do with Aiden. She just she just can't do it. Let's heal up Aiden. And we might kill Bosk without even need we're gonna kill Bosk without the execute. Ooh. Okay, to heal up Razor Crest, that's fine. Okay, so who do I want to heal up here? So normally you'd be healing up Interceptor to try to make sure it lives and does more damage. But since this should just kill him, I'm actually going to heal up the uh, Scythe to get back its health and its protection banner. So we're expecting like a 69 out of this. And we're going to get 69. Okay, cool. That's, that's what we hoped for, realistically. And then this one, we're going to do Negotiator. And oddly enough, we're going to do Negotiator and not take in the Marauder. We want Anakin. We want Fives. We want the Y-Wing. We want Plo Koon. And then we're going to bring Ahsoka, but we're hopefully not going to need her. So what we're really hoping on here, um, Anakin has an ability that every time one of his allies falls under 100% health, 
he gets 100% turn meter and does extra damage. So what we can do is kind of manipulate the battle and force this guy to put buzz droids on us, which do a little bit of health damage and keep triggering Anakin turns. So we're going to see if that works out the way I think it does. A little higher Relic Sun fact than normal, but that's fine. That's fine. So R5 should get to act first. And we want to go on their Hyena Bomber. Because we, when 5's basics the Hyena Bomber, he's going to give it some turn meter. So we'll look right now. Turn meter. You can see it should go 5's Negotiator Anakin. But we're going to target this guy. And brr, look, he gets extra turn meter. He puts the buzz droids on us. Thank you, buddy. Now we want to go hard and try to kill him. So you see now next, Anakin's going to go, right? Anakin goes. Don't use his buff immunity on this guy. You can use it on Sunfac if you want, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. Now he gets to go. I'll go ahead and do this little dispel guy. Oh, look, he went under 100% health. So what happens? Anakin goes. Basic. Boom. Fives gets to go. I'd love to talk. I shouldn't have buff immunity him, honestly. Um, but he went 100% health. So what's going to happen? Oh, Anakin's going to go. Let's AoE. Boom. All right. Oh, he actually gets to go. We gave him a little too much turn meter. Let's go after you. Okay. Now what do I do? I'm going to bring in Plo Koon. Heal all my guys up. And feed us a bunch of turn meter. We'll kill this guy. Now we just got Sunfact to deal with right now. We'll see if we can get him down fast enough. They probably are going to get another reinforcement in. Let's put Unending Loyalty on Anakin and everyone else. We're trying to save banners. There's basic here. Okay, ouch, ouch. Basic. They're going to bring in. This is probably Spy. It is. They're going to put it on my tank. Okay, that's fine. Basic. Let's do the AoE. Then we're going to do another big AoE. That should kill most of their stuff. Okay, and then these guys will eventually take turns and pop. Okay, I got to kill you first. You're going to get an AoE in an archer. Gosh darn it. That sucks. That's a lot of banners lost. Ugh. Uh, okay, what does this do? Spell, be buff, taunt. Let's do that and just... Oh, I got a target. Uh, so this is going to be way less banners than I hoped for, which sucks. We'll AoE here, and that should... Hopefully do enough damage to kill you. Okay, this will kill you. Boom. There we go. So this is going to be lower banners than we wanted. 71. That's not bad. Okay, so that puts us at a 2069. That's, I think that's my best score of the season so far. So they have to get a really good score to beat me, right? 20, 2070. They do make it through my front wall pretty easily, it's looking like. Yep, no holds yet. And I don't expect to have any holds, if we're honest. It's not likely. My defense is just kind of soft. Win or lose to me, 2069 is a good score given their defense because they put down a fair amount of, of, of good teams, right? They had uh, Reva, Gideon, Lord Vader, Ray, Jabba. And I know I'm getting in a neck of woods where it's five, ooh, five, he's ahead of me in banners, I'm pretty sure, because I think I was 554 when I got, 553. So he's ahead of me in banners, but I had a little nastier of a front wall to get through. Um, let's see, we lost banners here on DTMG, he did not, and then Ray, probably stole a couple, we'll have to see. Uh, if he drops, I feel pretty quick, pretty good, if he drops anywhere, there's no way he'll be able to beat me, but, um, if he doesn't drop, he's, he definitely is in range, because he's, he's got a four banner lead right now. We have some good scores coming up, though, hopefully we'll be able to just steal, again, just a few banners here and there, um, but it'll probably mainly come down to ships. Um, I'll, I'll probably leave the stream going right now, because, like, uh, I mean, Conquest starts, which isn't the most exciting thing. Better get my energy before it goes away. We'll do our weekly update tomorrow, which will be fun. Conquest, what, an hour away? Yeah. Start farming Datacrons again. Woo! All right, so I'm going to mute myself, go FK for a minute, and we'll I'll leave it on this screen so we can see what my opponent's doing if the score goes up and down. And then I can at least track what it's doing while I'm away for a minute. So I'll be I'll be back shortly. Um, if anyone again have any questions, type it in the chat. I should see it when I get back.
All right, I'm back. Um, Privy Grounds, no, I have all the characters from uh, Conquest, except for Queen Amidala, obviously, because she's still in Conquest. So we've made it through all. Did he get 57 on rank? Dang. Yeah, 50. No, 54. Okay, that's kind of more what I expected. I'll bring up a calculator. Just to kind of calculate on each one what he gets. So, 611 minus 557. Yes, yeah, so we got a 54 on Ray. Job is next. This will probably be a 57. I don't know what he's got, but JMK is most likely. Yeah, so Proving Grounds I've got. I'll go to my characters real quick. The only characters I don't have are... Oops, Bo Mandalore, Afra, and Queen Amidala. Obviously, some of the characters towards, uh, well, I guess I can show you. All the characters I don't have seven stars are these, in addition to those other ones. So, Paws, Kellerin, Tuscan Chieftain, ID12 Grogu, Stap, Tuscan Warrior. So, if it is farmable on a node somewhere, this is what I don't have. Uh, obviously, the, the four Gungans will join them soon, and we'll start working on those. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out like when it's going to make sense to go back and do the gearing and relicking for um, Afra. It's just hard because like she's a good team but not a great team. Um, and it's what four relic fives that I have to do. It's all kind of expensive. And there's just a lot more stuff. Um, and then right now it's very likely that in the next month or two we're going to get a lot of data telling us um what what's coming as far as the next raid and then what's coming as far as the next big capital ship or galactic legend like those three things should be coming sometime soon we don't know when obviously but Oh, Afra's Kron, yeah, dude. I mean, I don't because I was getting smoked by her <laughs> and I didn't have her. <laughs> Um, but yeah, her Kron made her so much stronger. And she's like, she's a good team. Like, right, my opponent put her on defense. Uh, Sidious Kron maybe makes it look a little bad. But she's, like, worst case scenario for me, let's say I unlocked her tomorrow, right? Well, I could put her on defense, and I feel pretty confident she would perform better defensively than this team, right? Like, is it, is she the best defense? Is she do better than this team, right? She's, she's not the best, but she's, she's much better than some of the defense I put out now. And I'm trying to get more comfortable, like, pushing into more defensive stuff. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that I would never put um, more than one GL on defense. And now I'm at least up to two. Ooh, this is taking a little longer than I thought. Maybe, I mean, it should be a Kenobi team. So I put a Kron without doubt on Jabba. And this, I think, just has health on it or something. Let's see, it's Dooku's Kron. Um, and the, the, the hope really is, like, it's harder to kill Chrysanthemum, Leia, and Jabba, and it just has a better chance to time you out. Uh, Kron's the one with Dooku's face on it. Dooku, this one. So this is what's on that Jabba team. Bunch of health, some protection. Um, they start with protection up. None of the other things matter. Yeah, I haven't gotten a lot of holds out of my right. <clears throat> so you're using the Raycron or the Holdocron? 11, 667 minus 667. So we got a 56 on Jabba, which means we stole a banner. Woohoo! <laughs> um, but realistic, like, this is the kind of thing for my defense that it really turns into, right? Like, every one banner my defense strips away matters because I put up good scores, or I try to put up good scores. I guess I don't always. Okay, so you're using, like, Ray been JTR with a Raycron and then like Finn, Finn, Holdo, something like that. I know, I know there's a few different teams that they that people have been using, but you're using Holdo's Cron on a Holdo team and a Raycron on a Ray team. I need to look <clears throat> at the data for 3v3 for next time around. And it, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know how much. If people are just using uh, Seer, Starkiller, Malakos on Ray... I don't think the Kron matters. I don't think the team comp matters. I think your best hope is that Ray's trying to steal a few banners. Maybe if your bin's high enough relics, you can kill them, take a person out or something. But 
The Kron isn't going to save you. Ooh, Barris with Ray. Okay. That makes sense. I don't have Barris ready yet. Um, so if people are you know, willing to invest that, that really strong team, which I know my opponent couldn't have done, so they probably layered that, actually, when I think. But my like I've I've not done I've not fought a Ray I assume it's Ray Ben Barris like I haven't fought that team I haven't seen anyone set it but my guess would be right the the general way you're doing it is kind of the same Barris is there to make the healing more annoying so you're just going to target her and kill her first with um, Seer Malakos Star Killer uh, now the Krons definitely do provide a huge block into what Star Killer by like Star Killer EP Mar Jade can do. Maybe there's some argument that in fives that'll be different. It's so, so hard to tell. Yeah, like when I, like when I go into my offense, right? I like I would love for there to be a a way for me to use like Seer Malakos Kylo Ren Unmasked on one team, and then EP Mar Jade Star Killer on a different team, but to kill rays and what just seems to work really well. Seer Malakos, Star Killer does it. Awesome, just counted up as an expensive team. I don't get to use EP Mara Jade very often, which kind of stinks because I have really good mods on Mara Jade. <laughs> See where my opponent attacks next. Uh, he could just be formulating plan. I don't think there's anything too crazy in terms of that he'll struggle with. It's all about. Uh, I would expect him to full clear. It's probably full clear one shot, um, unless something goes wrong in ships. But since they have Profundity and Leviathan and Chimera, I can't imagine ships are going to provide any problems to them. So it's going to be, can I chip away enough banners to keep their score just a little under mine? I mean, I'm fine if they get a 2068. That's, that's great. <laughs> um, 2069, if we tied, my opponent would win, because it always goes to the person who has higher GP. Um... Something to keep in mind um, is the tying thing. For me personally, so this th thus far this season, I'm not counting today's match. I'm 6-2 and two through eight matches. Um, so even a loss in this match gets me 6-3, and three, which is really great. Um, it's easy, the highest I've ever been on the boards. Looks like they're going to take a minute before they start going again. Um, so, you know, it's the, it's the highest ranking I've ever been. So for me, this is... Very unexplored territory. I would especially imagine going into fives. Mm, could be a rough season for me because I had such a good three season. We climbed up a lot. I want to say at the start of the season, I was right around like 3,700. And now we're probably 3,800 or 3,870. Oof. Let's see what that puts me in the, like where I'm at ranked right now. We are at, yeah, almost top 500. If we win, we'd almost assuredly be top 500, right? Because top 500 is going to be somewhere in the 38, 45 skill rating range, probably. 38, 50. Oh, man. Yeah, so, right, this is easily the most successful we've ever been. I th I'm going to attribute part of it to the, right, the, the Doubt Cron set was the first Cron set I committed myself to spending the 50 crystal and the 100 crystal refreshes every day in conquest for datacron so i think datacron's definitely is a part of it oh there's there's nothing to be scared about hitting kyber man like the worst case scenario you hit it you get beat back down like whatever but like there is like to get higher in each gac thing right there there, there are thresholds right like outside of these like weird bugged accounts you're not going to see anyone in Kyber with a million GP. You're not going to see someone in Kyber 1 with 3 million GP. Um, so there's a natural, like, roster building progression to it, right? Like, you have to have certain things to get there. Um, obviously, some teams help more than others, right? I think most people would agree that um, building Galactic Legend Leia is much more beneficial to getting you into Kyber than building Galactic Legend Sith Eternal Emperor. Have to do with, yeah, I think as you get into the higher Kybers, if you're not doing at least the 50 crystal refreshes, um, you're probably not, not going to be able to maintain it super well. Um, now, I was doing the 50 crystal refreshes basically forever, um, but I would say most of the time it was I had to do the 50 crystal refreshes. Oops, game crashed. Um, I had to do at least the 50 crystal refreshes to get enough battles in just to complete to get red crate. Because my goal is 
Red crate every time. Buy the shards. Yeah. It, um, so, yeah. Get red crate. Get all the shards so I can unlock them in three months, hopefully. DTMG I missed, but everyone since him and I think before him, I'm trying to remember the last one I missed. Maybe it was Trench. Or I've missed a couple of them. Uh, DTMGs I probably should have gotten, but just wasn't like had enough stuff going on with work that I, I didn't have time to dedicate to all that. Um, Queen Amidal looks really solid. We should get her in three. Built 667. So, um, her conquest, like, the data discs aren't as good, in my opinion. It's not what I normally use, but whatever. Um, but it isn't a super hard conquest in terms of getting good crates. Um, outside of some of the boss fights really suck. The, the final one with her really stinked. Um, but yeah, like, um, for my account to progress, like, I'm in a guild that, uh, I think I'm one of the smaller accounts. Let's see. Let's see what the average in my guild should be, because I think I'm still under the average. I think the average is still over 11 million. Guilds. So my guild is 570 million GP. So if we do that, oh, 570, we divide that by 50, right? The average account's 11.4 million or 10.7. So I'm 700,000 GP down to average on my guild. And then there are some things I've built, we'll say, that are definitely considered fluff. Some of my most proud fluff projects are... Um, my Relic 9 Veteran Smuggler Chewbacca. Where's he at? Let's show you off, buddy. Look at that. Relic 9. How powerful is this? This scares everyone when they see it on my roster. And then another one that's, uh, you know... I'll say the resources probably could have been a lot better. Uh, Night Sisters. Relic 8 Night Sister Initiate. Nothing else. You could definitely argue Daka would have been a better relic eight. <laughs> Those are for TV. Um, it seems like now in the game, like the more you want to progress, like in GAC, you can do things to progress faster. But there are still caps. Like again, like no million GP player is going to hit Kyber. It's just not not real. You don't have enough stuff. So. Building things that your guild wants, like both of those two are like my guild wanted them for finishing the platoons. I don't mind doing it because I, it builds it, you know, um, it builds a better guild. We get more resources overall. And then like, if, if I were someone that didn't have Ray, right. I mean, at least building the Chewie would get me towards Ray some a little overkill, but whatever. And then when it comes to, like, I know, uh, to do Kilroy, right? I, I am very close to the average GP in my guild, but there's also to keep in mind, like, the biggest accounts in the world, like, there's, I think it's Ma or Pa. Some of them have everything maxed out Relic 9 already, and they're just a little over 15 million GP, so, like, no one is going to be 5 million GP above me at this point. It's impossible. Also, if anyone knows what language this is and can tell me what this says, I would be very appreciative. Um, I almost always message my opponent, tell them best of luck, and then usually tell them, hey, I stream if you want to see what's going on. Cool, great. Um, but I have no idea what this language is. So if anyone knows, that would be very awesome if you could tell me, and I could maybe tell my opponent, hey, you can watch the stream to see how your defense did. Because that's something um, I got to to play against uh, Ranger J. Is it 1999? He's, he's reality-skewed gamers if you look at look at them. Um, I got to play him a week or two ago, and it was really cool to see, like, how people think through my defense and what they're strategizing to use where. Um, and I think I could do more, like, thinking about that when I set my defense and, and pulling things around like that. Because you can only get so much from SWGOH.GG in the history. Like, you'll know what they use, but you don't know how they came to that that idea of, oh, well, I, how did you choose to use, oh, they got another battle in. Let's see how many banners that one was. Minus 725. That was a 58. So that's on the wrong side of what we want. I wouldn't be surprised if I lose this one. It's just not super likely that my opponent will... Uh, oh, that was Newt Django B1. So that was probably... Okay, 58 is... So that might have been Wampa. I think Wampa... Like, I, 
I don't set a strong enough defense that Wampa won't kill something, so I just kind of have to accept some, some, they're going to get a 57 or a 58, maybe a 59 out of Wampa somewhere, is what it is. That's why I have to try to play so efficiently and really think about every banner, like that Darth Revan battle, or Darth Malgus battle against Dark Trooper Gideon, which is near, maybe the first battle, one of the first I did. Like, I could have finished it faster, but I really needed to think about, oh, I can get this one extra banner. That's why I like how many ships I take, right? Like, um, Negotiator, I could have taken one less ship and gotten an extra banner. Profundity, I could have taken two less ships and gotten two more banners. And a 2072 is a lot harder to get than a 2069. Uh, my Negotiator battle, if it went the way it normally does, I should have gotten like two or three extra banners just from people not taking damage, which would have been nice, but is what it is. Normally, I don't get to see my opponent attack live like this. Um, we'll get to at least see kind of what they do, and we'll know. Give me a sec. got to answer a work message. Um... Yeah, I don't know where it was. Oh, just like trying to maximize banners and stuff. And then with that, when you are playing like, hey, even if you know you've got the win or you know you've lost already, either way, right? Like always playing the matches out in a way where you're trying to maximize your efficiency. I kind of think of the game like if you watch a lot of people stream or much streaming, more than likely if you found my stream, you're into Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You probably know who Arnold is, since he's like the biggest name in in, in streaming for this game. Um, he is what I would say is a very heavy defensive player, right? He sets a very hard defense to clear. He'll very often set six GLs and Reva, like just crazy team amount of teams on defense. Um, where I probably set a the exact opposite of that, right? Like <laughs> I set a very soft defense, so. In, in my brain, when I think about how GAC kind of plays out, most people fall into, oh, I'd rather play defensively and maybe look to only clear a couple zones or something like that, or I'd rather play offensively. I'm going to full clear the board. Um, and these are kind of very broad ideas, so don't think like, oh, everyone fits into these exact categories because there's way too many paint strokes to, to, to fall into that. But like... In general, if we say everyone, we want to mainly separate people into either you're a defensive player or you're an offensive player. Well, what happens when those two things, like if we say you're, you're one of those two ideas, what happens when they match up against each other? So heavy defense versus heavy defense. Oh, let's see what they got there. Oof. Minus 781. 56. That's good. Um. So if you're heavy defense, you, you match up against someone else that's heavy, heavy defense. What does it turn into? Well, it turns into efficiency, right? You're going to maybe clear two zones. They're maybe going to clear two zones. There might be some strategy about you're going to clear an extra zone or something. But both of you are kind of planning on leaving the board on the table, right? Um, all right. Well, what happens if a heavy defense meets a heavy offense? Um, well, the heavy defense player probably is strong still has enough offense to wipe through that that de that off the defense that the heavy offense player sets right in this case I fully believe my opponent will clear my board I don't I don't think that's in question um and then I'm going to clear his board so what does it turn into efficiency and how how effectively you can make every banner count um or we go heavy offense versus heavy offense well now it's we both know we're going to full clear it's all about how many, bi how big a score can I make, right? So all variations, to me, kind of turn into efficiency battles. So I like to think of it in terms of the reason I set very, we'll say weak defense, go heavy offense, is I'm trying to maximize my opponent's opportunity to make a mistake. Because if they make one mistake and I make zero mistakes, I should win. Um, and especially right now, because so many things are so powerful on offense, it does feel a lot like 
can you get lucky in ships? <laughs> it really just is like a ship game. So, like, who was it the other day I played? It may, it may have been this week. It may have been last week. But, like, they legit lost. It, it might have been this guy. Because I think he just barely lost to me. It might have been last week. But there was someone that, like, I just barely beat by a few banners. Uh, let's see. This one. No, it wasn't him. There was someone I beat by, like, maybe five or ten banners. And they dropped the battle Profundity versus Negotiator. Oh, I'm sorry, Profundity versus Executor. So they were they had Profundity, and I had Executor on defense. They got really unlucky with Profundity. They ended up dropping a battle, and they should have beat, if, as long as they one-shot my Profundity, or my Executor with their Profundity, they'd have probably beaten me by 15. But right now, for me, it seems like a lot of it can come down to, like, we're both just going to clear the ground. It is what it is. So let's do that. 781 minus 838. That was a 57 average. Okay. So I'm putting a lot of my stuff on. I'm going to be efficient on the ground. I'm going to give you an opportunity to make a mistake on the ground. And then I'm going to try to be clean in ships. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to make a mistake in ships slash get hit by the RNG bug. I would love to feel confident enough that it's probably not this team. It's this this defense, but take out Malevolence and put down Leviathan. This is That is a defense that I would love to feel confident to beat without Profundity, which really means I need to figure out some way to beat this cleanly, right? Because if this was Leviathan, okay, Empire goes here, Marauder goes here. What do I use to clear Profundity cleanly? And I think it's Malevolence, but I need more Relics. Because I would actually like to put Profundity on defense because of its RNG factor. Like, that battle that you saw me have with Negotiator, the reason I take in those reinforcements, you use those initial skills to try to get Anakin low on health. You don't get any assist because Han Solo's called into work that day. Uh, the battle goes to trash so fast. You can lose ships. You can lose banners so quickly. All right, Kilroy Joy, have a, have a great time, man. Thanks for watching, talking. Hopefully I was able to give you some kind of benefit to watching, man, so... Um, if you've got any questions, don't, don't hesitate to like comment on one of my videos or something, reach out to me on discord, anything like that. Thanks, man. All right. So they've cleared Iden and Boba. They still have plenty to get. Well, I say plenty to get through. <laughs> it's not plenty. It's pretty weak. Uh, is there a way in this? I can see how many people are in my chat participants who I can. Kilroy. Okay. All right. See you, Kilroy. I guess I can at least check and see. Um, do, 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 with uh, do, do, if there's anything in my guild I need to be doing for TB, we do have a lot of TB stuff going on. TB starts today. And what else did I get pinged on? Uh, okay, that's gonna be recap of territory wars. Didn't have the best territory war week. I feel like I played okay, but not great. TB's back. Uh, Okay. Let's see. What platoons do I need to do? Show my platoon assignments. Oops. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Okay, let's go ahead and get these placed. Help out our guild. Ooh, can't wait for conquest. So because of the way like my daily reset happens, I actually get an hour on conquest before my daily reset that I can spin crystals and get energy spin um, with daylight savings and stuff. So I actually try to get that in really fast. So 34 minutes from now, I'll actually be pinging conquest really hard. And luckily the first few zones, I mean, it's just blasting through with some team. Uh, okay, you're gonna pause up here. All right, we'll just reload you. Yeah, so for us, it's going to be an interesting TV. We've lost a couple. We had a couple people retire, just like burn out on the game, not enjoying it as much anymore. So it's a little weirder. I don't know. We, we've gotten 40 before. I'd imagine we'll be 39, 40 somewhere this time. We've got Zepho now, which is really cool. Um, trying to maximize rewards. The, the rewards from TB even though they're very small incremental bumps, um, once you get to, like, you're running 
ROTE every time. Right? Like, one extra star each time is actually a pretty big deal. Just because you get that twice a month and it's it's that much every time. Okay, let's place these things real quick. quick. If you'll load this time, time, time. Gotta do some. Uh, try to be, you know, the best guild member you can if your guild's asking you, like, hopefully most guilds now with the way the platoon system works, right, we end up doing, like, basically not non-desirable characters up to... Gee, me, Christmas. Come on, TB. Um, there will be many non-desirable characters that get um, geared up and relicked up. Try to take some for, for the team, right? Like, um, every time we open up a new platoon, like right now we're doing a lot of Relic 9 ones, right? They'll be like, oh, well, we need a Relic 9 Star Killer or a Relic 9 Grand Inquisitor. Most people will be like, yeah, I'll do that. I, those are great characters. But then you'll get like, oh, I need a Relic 9 Veteran Smuggler Chewbacca. And not too many people are up on that, right? But understanding what your guild does for you in terms of benefit is a lot. So you need to try to give back to your guild as well. Um, I know my guild, right, They, I, I got in when I was a little lower GP than what the average was, well, a lot lower than what the average was. Tried to progress my roster really quickly, stay up to date. Um, so, see, so, right, they've given me a lot of resources. There's no reason to not, you know, pay it forward, work on the things. Uh, there's a mission in the TB that, like, there are some that reward guild event currencies that, I think it's, it's phase one has one that's like Kira and Young Han, or who you have to have, which are not the strongest characters by any stretch, um, but it's still worthwhile to, to gear them up. If everyone in your guild does it, it's a bunch of resources to everyone in the guild. So that's something our guild, right? We don't need... Um, we don't need extra combat waves to get through um, the first three zones to, to nine star on day one. So, hey, rather than build up, uh, you know, a combat mission character, we can build up a special mission character and get a little guild event currency. Boy, if it doesn't load up this time, I just might have to wait and do these a little later. Maybe I need to stop streaming and that's just killing my computer too much. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this isn't loading, so I'm going to cut the stream for now. Um, again, if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to me, message me in the comment section, Discord, stuff like that. Um, I'll be hopefully able to stream tomorrow and do my weekly update. We can talk about stuff like that. Um, thanks for watching, everyone, and best of luck 